Here right, I guys, Mark Racer Spades. I'm going to do a performance now of a trick called Three Coincidences by Juan Samares. And it's a fantastic trick. If you haven't seen his performance of it, I do suggest you go and look at it because his performance is fantastic. Um, not just the, the trick itself, but his whole performance, the way he does it all. It's fantastic. So I would advise you go check him out. Juan Samares. Fantastic card magician. Um, and I don't want to bore you too much. So, without any further ado, here's my performance of his trick. I hope you enjoy it. I've got two packs of cards here. Blue pack and a red pack. And I'll let you pick which pack we use. Although it's not going to really matter, as you'll see as I'm moving along. So say you're saying the blue one. Put the reds there for a minute. And just get the blues out of the box because I want this to be absolutely fair and I don't want any doubt in your mind at all of what's going on so we start off we just give the pack a bit of a shuffle and as you can see they are all blue cards yeah all blue and what I'll do is I'll give them a cutting and if you were here, I'd let you shuffle these together now. Just so you can, show, you can see that the, it is all going fair. That the cards are getting a good shuffling up. And as you can see, they are getting well mixed in together there. And there's no way I can plan a shuffle like that. Right, and in case you think I did, I'll give them a cut. And we'll just give them another shuffle. And we're just giving them another mixing up. I say I want this to be absolutely fair and there's to be no doubt in your mind that the cards are well and truly shuffled up. Right. So just put them there and I'll do the exact same thing with the red ones. Again we'll start by giving them a bit of a shuffle just to make sure that they're completely mixed up. And again I will show you that Again, they are all red cards. And again, I'll give them a cotton. And again, if you were here, I'd let you riffle them together. So again, you can see that they are all getting mixed in, in a mishmash order. And again, I'll give them a cutting, and I'll give them a little shovel, and I'll give them another mixing up. Now you see why I said it didn't really matter which pack you picked, but you're all getting mixed up anyway. Right, now what I'd like you to do is pick a colour, either the red cards or the black cards, and you want the red cards, okay. So what I'll do is I'll go through the blue pack first and I'll take out all the red cards Right, so I'll just put the blacks there in a minute and just to show you they are all the red cards, yeah. So there's no doubt in your mind about that. They are all red. And we just give them another cotton. And we'll put these, because you wanted red, we'll put the red back in the box. I'll give you them to keep hold of. Now again, I'll go through here and I'll take out all the black cards. So we're just left with the red cards. So there's all the black ones, just put them there, and again you can see that they are all the red ones, there's no black ones in there at all. And again, we'll just give them a cut, and again we'll put these back into their box, 
and we'll give you them to hold on to. Right. From here, just to make sure that these are still mixed up, the black ones, I'll give them a cutting. As you can see, they are all the backs and they're all mixed up. And they are all blacks and they're all mixed up. We just give them a cut. Right, now for the first part of what is basically an experiment. You've just seen them all getting well mixed up. You've seen me taking the black cards out, so you've only got black cards in both piles. I'd like you to pick a pile, the red pile or the blue pile. See in the red pile, okay? But what I'd like you to do is just cut so many off the top. Any 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 amount you want. Say you want there. So what we'll do is we'll take this as being your selection and we'll put that there as a marker in that packet. Right? Because what I'm going to do now is go through both packs until we get down to your marker. And here we are now at your marker. Both cards match. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Both of them matched. So you're pretty good on that one. You passed with flying colours. So let's try a bit of a different way. And again, if you were here, I'd let you riffle these together. So again, you can see that they're all getting mixed in, reds to the blues, yeah? All the way through, reds and blues getting mixed in. Right, now what I'd like you to do is think of a number between one and 10. And you're saying seven, okay. Well, let's take, say, the seventh blue card from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So there's the seventh blue card from the top. And to make it fair, we'll go for a red one this time to see if you can get a match. So we'll take the seventh red one from the bottom. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Right? Let's square them up and get them out of the way. You done it again. That's two out of two. You have two matches. I'll tell you what. Let's try taking all the red cards out of the pack now. Get it back into two packs of blue and red cards. blue pack and we've got a red pack and just to show you again they are all red and they are all blue now if we take the two queens and put them onto the top because we know they're a pair and that they matched and we just give them a second they should pass their influence on to the rest of the pack Sounds strange, doesn't it? But, as we know, we had a pair there. If we carry on going through the pack, we should find that every card now is a pair. Is a match with the card right opposite. All the way through. Two kings, two tens, two eights, two eights, two nines. Every last one of the cards are sorted themselves out. To the twin every one all the way down and that was impressive wasn't it now what about the red cards you've been holding and you've been holding them all along and you did see them getting shuffled before they went in the boxes again if you were here i'd let you take the blue cards out of their box and put them face down and take the red cards out of their box and again put them face down 
what I'm going to do is wave these packs over them slightly and let the influence from them hit these packs and we should find that each and every one of these as well has gone and sorted themselves out into pairs all the way through the pack every card at every level is the same there's a match a match two kings two nines two sevens two nines two queens two sixes two queens every last one of them matches up perfectly well i hope you enjoyed that anyway and i'll see you again soon